ми зустрічаємо перед собою. And as we encounter in front of us. Усі ці випробування і виклики. Що ви сьогодні? Challenges so that today. Ми як церква Ісуса We as a church of Jesus Christ. Ми мали відвагу. We would have a uh, bravery. Мали сміливість. Courage. Щоб стати to stand і дійсно бути переможцями and truly to be victorious над всіма цими речами, які лякають людей, make the people afraid, які здатні привести людей в страх. They are able to bring people into fear. І сьогодні я б хотів про це говорити. Today I wanted to talk about this, brothers and sisters. Це слово, яке, яке ми будемо чути. That we're going to hear. Я молюся, щоб воно було практичним словом для для that нас усіх. Practical, applicable Знаєте, я не хочу, щоб ми просто як в школі вірш вчили на пам'ять. I don't want us to just, you know, recite a verse or something. І і просто цитували це слово. And just quote the scripture. Я хочу, щоб ми розуміли, як сьогодні. I want сьогодні us to understand how it is today. Через це слово. That through this word ми можемо we are able отримати перемогу. To receive a victory. І ходити в перемозі. Аллилуйя. Слава Ісусу. Тому я закликаю вас Therefore, усіх, хто сьогодні в цьому залі. That is in this building, і всіх, хто сьогодні дивиться нас онлайн. Online, відкрити суборне послання апостола Якова. To open from James, четвертий розділ. Chapter 4. І ми зачитаємо в четвертому розділі три вірша. And we're going to read three verses. Це буде 7, 8 і 10-й вірш. Verse 7, 8 and 10. And 10. Я думаю, що англомовні вони прочитають на 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 екрані. Uh, we're not going to translate to English just follow along on a screen. Ми за браком, щоб ми були мали час. So that we would have time. Значить, цьому моє вірша. Дивіться, що говорить святий апостол Яків. Look what it says in verse 7 from uh, James. Знаєте, цей чоловік, цей апостол, він дійсно був сповнений Духа Божого. And this man was truly he was filled with the spirit of God. І це зрозуміло, якщо б він не був повний Духа Божого. And it's, and it's understandable because if he wasn't full of the spirit he would not carry a name of a disciple. Apostle is the one that preaches and who announces. And I am thankful that the word that he once received from God, as he received the revelation from the Holy Spirit, he passed it on to us and we're able to find these important things so that our faith would be edified. So let us look at verse 7. It says, Тож підкоріться Богові та спротивтесь дияволу, то й втече він від вас. Інший переклад цього сьомого вірша, seven, він говорить слідуючими словами. Воно є, можливо, даже більше зрозуміліше для нас. May, maybe we'll understand it even він каже, тож підкоріться Богові says, to God. та більше та й більш того, and furthermore, дайте відсіч противнику вашому. Give battle or repel the enemy. І той противник, and he that is the enemy, він втече від shall вас. Shall flee, he will run away from you. Восьмий вірш. Verse eight. Наблизтись до Бога. Draw near to God. Та й Бог наблизиться до вас. And he will come close to you. Слухайте, ви чуєте, які конкретні слова дає апостол Яків? The words are very detailed, very specific. Які конкретні поради? And he gives us very concrete uh, suggestions. Апостол Павел дає для нас з вами. This apostle Paul, he's passing on to Він us. Він каже, наблизтись says, до Бога. Uh, come close to God. Draw near. І Бог наблизиться до вас. will come close to you. Очисте, uh, очисте руки грішні. Wash your hands, you sinners, or cleanse them. Або інший переклад каже, очистіть руки грішники. Uh, cleanse your hands, you sinners. Та серця освятіть двоєдушні. І, можливо, для когось це слово двоєдушність не зрозуміле, 
то воно означає лицемірні. Люди, які, які лицемірять. It is people that are uh, d- d- double-minded. They're, they're not honest. Люди. They're not honest people. Які люди, які мають думки, people that have the thoughts that are doubled. І Богові, they would like to serve God. І and likewise, they want to serve mamona, their money or the world. Двом панам. They want to they serve two masters. Але, слухайте, що говорить писання. But listen to what the scripture says. He says, sanctify your hearts. And verse 10. Humble yourselves before the Lord. And he that is the Lord will lift you up in honor. І знаєте, оце слово підійме вас. And lift this word lift you up. Воно воно взято або на староєврейській мові. In in ancient Hebrew. Воно означає простить вас. And it means that he will forgive you. Тобто підніме вас із цієї ями з He will lift you out of the pit. Вирве вас із цієї Tear you out out of this. Цієї пастки ворожої enemy trap. І прийде спасіння у ваш дім. Will come into your home. То есть кожний Therefore, кожному вірші, дорогі. In every verse. Ми з вами можемо бачити чітку інструкцію. We can see very clear instructions. Яку святий апостол Павел. That apostle Paul. Дає сьогодні для нас з вами. Gives to every one of us. Щоб ми не просто читали і розуміли. So that we not only uh, read and understand. Але для того, щоб ми практично. But so that it would practically. Могли взяти це слово в своє життя. Would be able to take this word into our life. І практично застосовувати його в своє життя. And to apply it into our life. Use it. Знаєте, зовсім недавно. Not so long ago. Це такий маленький відступ. Зовсім недавно. I'm deviating a little bit. Not so long ago. я розмовляв з одним пастором. I was talking to a pastor. І ми, знаєте, як пастора, де коли збираємося собі, And as pastors we gather every now, now and then. Одного, молимося один за одного. We another, pray for one another. Спілкуємося один з одного, з одним. Розказуємо, можливо, якісь питання, які турбують we, uh, нас. talk about questions that maybe trouble us. в якій ми живемо, в якій Situations that the church is in or that we live in. коли ми собі так розмішляємо. And it's normal, that's good. І знаєте, він мені розказав одну таку річ. And this pastor shared something with me. Каже, ти знаєш, брат Роман. He says, you know, brother Roman. Такий, такий час сьогодні ми живемо трудний. We live in such a difficult time. І каже, і, і, і люди стали трудними. And people became difficult too. І люди стали трудними. People are difficult. І він каже, одного разу я просто підійшов до одної людини в церкві. He said, I approached one person at my church. І каже, я запитав його, каже, чи ти тебе this man, I have not seen you for so long at church. Why is that? And he gave me an answer. And he gave me an opportunity to think. And he said, do you know what he said? He said, if I want to go to church, I come, and if I don't, I don't. He said, I, I shuddered. І я кажу до нього друге питання, слухай, це є дуже небезпечно. I said that is a very dangerous Тому що коли в такому стані, або з такими думками ходити, і вставляти такі думки, дуже легко можна відійти від Бога. You can turn away from God and backslide super easy. You may deny God if the difficult times, more difficult times arrive. And you know what this person said? And we'll have time for that too. And I began to be afraid. This pastor said, he wasn't specifically speaking of the man, but the situation more so. And the, 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 this what we live in today. The enemy has unraveled his battlefront so wide. And the enemy begins to battle against the saints in such a power these days. With Exactly one purpose. З одною ціллю. With one purpose. Звести. To drive. 
і з правдивої дороги. Yes, those people away from the path of truth. As many as святих людей possible of the saints. Послухайте, це є дуже серйозно. And it's very serious. І Біблія і апостоли, вони про це говорять. And the apostles they talk of this. Ми з вами сидимо ось тут в All of us sitting here in these chairs. Ми можемо собі спокійно сидіти. We can sit here calmly. І думаємо, що навколо нас все нормально. And we think that everything that surrounds us is just fine. Біблія. And normal, but the scripture. І апостоли і сам Христос він говорив про це. And Jesus Christ himself they spoke of this. Що наше that our life is a battle. It is war. And this war it continues. And that the fact that I'm standing here today and all of us are sitting here if we were able to look with the eyes of faith we would hear the crackle of the swords of the spirits the battle that is happening for every single soul a battle that is led for every heart and this war it, it, it exists and therefore Apostle Peter another Apostle in his own he says the following будьте тверезі be sober-minded. Watch out. For your, your enemy, the devil, walks as a roaring lion. Just imagine this picture, a roaring lion. As a roaring lion, he prowls that seeks out to devour someone. And verse 9 Апостол Петро каже: Апостол Петро writes: Противтесь йому, а resist the devil or the enemy, твердою, with firm вірою. faith. Аллилуйя. Аллилуйя. Послухайте, інший переклад Listen, цього цього цих вірш. There are other translations of this verse. Він мені навіть трошки більше подобається, він більш розв'язує. And I might like it even more because it's more descriptive. Він каже: it says, Апостол Петро говорить до нас: Апостол Петро writes to us: Будьте благорозумні. Be very wise. Або розсудливі. Or those who decide correctly. Що це означає, дорогі? Це означає. What does it mean? It means що віруюча людина. That a person that is a believer. Яка народилася від Господа that is born again in whom there is a spirit of the living God the scripture says that person has a mind of Christ and that person is able to understand things things that come of God that person is able to decide judge what is good and what is evil. They're able to understand things that are of God, that come from God and things that are from the enemy. In other words, this person has eyes that see healed spiritual eyes that they may see and I love to repeat this it is so important and that person has uh, healed ears they hear that which God speaks to the church today they hear and so apostle and so the apostle says be wise judging and he says do not lose your vigilance for your enemy and he calls him an enemy the enemy walks around prowling as a lion seeking 
проглотити. Ми можемо розуміти цю картину. We can imagine this picture. Ми можемо бачити цю картину. We can see this picture. І ця картина є реальною. And it is real. І сьогодні ми можемо бачити, як дуже багато людей. And we can see so many people. Вони просто попадають у ці лапи оцього рикаючого лева. They're caught into the the, the paws of this. Який проглочує їх, роздирає їх. The roaring lion that tears their life apart and swallows. Але слухайте, дорогі друзі. But listen dear friends. Я хочу сьогодні не залякати нас з вами. I am not here to scare you. Я малюю цю картину для того, щоб ви зрозуміли те реально, що існує. That we would understand the reality of things. Но моє завдання сьогодні показати нам. Today is to show you що навіть рикаючий лев that even the roaring lion він боїться чогось is afraid of something навіть можна зупинити you can even stop рычащого лева a roaring lion який закрадається that is prowling для того щоб нанести удар в твоє життя in order to bring harm to your life і це і цей засіб є сьогодні для нас And this is uh, something that we can use today. Have you seen a lion in your life? Have you been to a circus or a zoo? And somewhere else? And there you may have seen these lions. They're terrible animals. But there is one thing дуже сильна річ, very powerful thing, яка здатна зупинити цього лева. to stop and drive away this lion. І знаєте, люди, які займаються із тваринами, and people that uh, you know they uh, made a career out of, мисливці, які йдуть на охоту, out of the tending to the animals або or hunters люди, які, who go to які, hunt які проходять певні у ці місця, знаєте, савани або ліса. Or people that walk through the forest or savannas. Без цієї річі вони навіть Without не виходять із дому. Without this thing, they, they might not even leave their house. І ми, ми часом думаємо, що це якась така велика зброя, знаєте. And we might think that this is a really big scary gun. Чи, чи ще щось, велика, якась or, велика палиця. Or some kind of a big spear. Але ця річ, But this thing, це є дуже яскраве світло. It is a very bright light. Дуже яскраве світло. A very bright light. Я не знаю, чи колись я розказував цю історію. I don't know if I've ever історія. shared this story with you. It's a true story. Я бачив story. Цю, цю, цю історію на... Uh, I've seen this story on, on a Discovery Channel. And they were talking about a man who was attacked by a lion. This man was going home from work. He was driving his bike and a, and a lion attacked him. And he said, I, I stayed alive just because not too far from me my co-workers were driving. And they had this, these lights. It was already dusk. It was getting dark. And they had the lights. And when the lion saw the lights, It started to flee from me. It began to withdraw. And he said, from that time on, I always carry in my hand a light that is able to scare even a lion. Listen, the word of God says to us, Christ says, I am the light to the world. I am the light to the world. And those who walk beside me or after me, who follow, those who follow me, they will not walk in darkness, but they will have a light of life. Послухайте, наскільки це є важливо. It is so important for us. Знаєте, тримати в руках світло. To hold this light in our hand. І коли ми читаємо Іван від Луки. And as we read Luke. Лука говорить це слово. He says these words. Він каже: "Підпережіть стегна свої". He says, uh, gird your loins or І і візьми навчи підпережіть стегна свої. Інший інший перекла каже: 
одягніть одежу свою. In other translation it says change your uh, clothing. І світла ручні. And the lights. Позасвічуйте у своїх руках. And uh, light the light lamp stands in your hands or these. Це є це є дуже важливо. Lanterns that is so important. Як він повторює це слово? And James he repeats these каже, words оце, and he says оце переодягання або підперезання стегон changing of clothes or putting каже, on this belt if you will означає? what does it mean? це означає освячення наше it means our sanctification освячення наше щоб ми очистили свої руки clean our hands були чисті that we would be clean as a whole і слідуючи and the following we would sanctify our hearts може це буде трошки грубо сказано maybe this is a little rude але переодягання одежі є дуже важливо but to change your clothes is important знаєте коли ми з вами ходимо в старій природі when we walk in our old nature в старій одежі in our old clothes коли ми довший час не не міняємо сорочки чи 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 піджака we do not change our uh, shirt ми можемо з вами відчути цей запах we can smell it який не 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 добре пахне and, and, and it begin, the clothes begins to stink. And I think this is a very good analogy for our life. Because when people live in Greece, they live in sin. And when they do not clean up their lives. When they do not care about their clothing. This clothing becomes dirty. And it begins to smell unpleasant. And you know when it's unpleasant. Even the animals they can smell it. І вони починають охотитися за тобою. And this lion may begin to prowl after you. починає недобре пахнути. When your clothing is uh, with an unpleasant smell. Навіть мухи злітаються. Even the flies will tell you. Так воно є. That's how Тому it is. Слово Боже каже. And therefore the scripture says. Освячення для народу Божого є дуже важливим. Sanctification for God's holy people is so important. Одягнення, отримання нової одежі. To receive a new clothing of God. Це є дуже важливо. It is very important. For all of us, so that we may receive protection from our God. And the second thing that Scripture says: to light up a torch or or some kind of lantern, a candle, to light them up in your hands. To light up the lampstands. Light up the lampstands. Щоб ці світильники горіли в нашій руках. І ми могли з вами рухатися вперед. Ми повинні це розуміти, дорогі. Що життя кожної людини, вона є під риском. Небезпекою. І над кожним над кожним із нас and every one of us the enemy prowls upon in order to devour therefore the lampstands or the torches that are lit in our hands is our жива віра is our living faith в Ісуса Христа Аллилуйя Послухайте дуже щось важливе It is so important Наскільки це важливо я хочу нам з вами пояснити That I want to explain it to you Ми бачили людей We have seen people that які ходять walk around with the light. Я пам'ятаю один час це було на кемпі. I remember I was camping. Це дуже це реально і це дуже дуже важливо. It is real and it is important. Коли ми були на кемпі, знаєте, темно кругом. We were camping and it was really dark everywhere. І хтось вийшов із світлом, фонариком і засвітив мені в очі. And somebody was coming out with a flashlight and they shone into my eyes. Знаєте, що я побачив? You know what I saw? Я побачив тільки світло. 
the only thing I could see was the light. Я не бачив, хто стоїть за цим світлом. I could not see anyone behind the light. Чи він високий? Are they tall? Чи він маленький? Are they little? Fantastic. Чи він сильний? Are they strong? Чи він слабенький? Are they weak? Чи це чоловік? Was it a man? Чи це жінка? A woman. Я бачив тільки світло. The only thing I could see is the light. І це є дуже важливо. And it is so important for us. Біблія говорить, коли The scripture says when ми в наших руках маємо світло Hands, we have the lamp and when it's lit up in our hands and when we follow this light it is important Jesus Christ says when your lamp stands are lit up and you follow me той має життя. They have a life. Those who do that. Тому коли ми виходимо із цим запаленим світом, і ми слідуємо за ним. walk behind him. коли ми зустрічаємося із цим ворогом. When we encounter the enemy. я щось хочу сказати. I want to tell you. Ворог не бачить тебе. Does not see you. Він бачить світло. They see the light. І це світло воно просто в цьому світлі розчиняється. And you become one with this light. And the enemy flees. Not from you. Not because you're so strong. Not because you're so smart. Not because you know the scriptures by heart. But the enemy flees. Because he sees the light. He sees Jesus Christ. He that is victorious. Glory to Jesus. And therefore it is so important that this light it would be turned in front of you. Not behind you. Not beside you. But in front of you. Glory to Jesus. I want to say further and it is also super important very serious. Even if you accepted Jesus Christ, sometimes we think that in order to be saved and protected in our lives, I must acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord. Yes, it's true, but it is also only just first step. It is just the first step. Millions and billions of people they know of Jesus. Turn on the radio. Turn on the TV. Go to church. You can hear about Jesus about Jesus Christ everywhere. You can hear of his power. You can hear of his goodness or grace. You can hear about how he is. But in order to taste, you must accept, accept him and be a light for him to receive him as this light and to begin to follow him and this is called a life of faith in Jesus Christ. This is called life of faith and walking after God. Dear friends, this is so important for us to understand and to know. Too important. Just remember that the light that we have in our life that is Jesus Christ це світло боїться this, ворог наш. This light the enemy fears. Це світло боїться ворог this наш. Light the enemy fears. І втікає. Аллилуйя. Тепер я би хотів, щоб ми з вами відкрили Євангелію від Матвія. П'ятий розділ. Chapter 5. 14 вірш. Verse 14. Він говорить дуже цікаве слово. He says in very це good word. Просто говорить через Interesting word. Jesus Christ is speaking to us through this word. Каже, послухайте. He says, listen. Сказав, Я є це світло. He said, I am the light. І це світло ми святкували зовсім недавно. And we celebrated this light not so long ago. Це світло прийшло з неба. This light came from the heavens. І воно освітило всю темряву. And shone the darkness throughout the world. І написано, що 
in this world it was in darkness and there was darkness where there is no light there is also danger there is danger and if you want to overcome danger if you want to overcome darkness you must approach this light, a light source and turn it on, flip the switch and a light will come on the moment it comes on the darkness dissipates, disappears and peace comes into your heart, Послушайте, into your life. Писання. Listen to what the scripture says. Христос Jesus Christ has come and the glory of God shown the entire world. And the light has arrived to this world. And it lit up your life, the people's lives. Every person that comes to this earth. And every one of us has an opportunity to see who we are and what we represent. And we could bring bring our life into order now look at what Jesus says to those people that have accepted Jesus Christ into their heart and those who were lit up and who lit up the lampstands in their hands he says this to them verse 14 Matthew chapter 5 he says you are the light of the Hallelujah. world. Hallelujah. Further on, like a city on a hilltop cannot be hidden. You are the light to the world. A city that stands on a hill cannot hide. Verse 15. He begins to explain it more. And he says, No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. In other translations or in other words, he says, Nobody lights up the light to cover it with the lid, to hide it somewhere but they put it on a stand and it shines to everyone within the house hallelujah, glory to Jesus dear friends it is a very important word for all of us when in our hands there are lit up lights we have an opportunity we have an ability to display the power and might of Jesus Christ in our house. So many times I meet, I met people and speak to people. I talk to parents that are worried about their kids. Many times I speak to kids that are worried about their parents. And we have all kinds of conversations. And we see as the enemy he tears into the life of people. You know what he needs? He needs he needs the door to be just cracked open so he may enter. There are many things that allow the devil to just have a full right to enter your house. And the scripture says, do not lose vigilance. Watch out. Deliberate. Because the enemy he wants to tear into your life and remember with one purpose with one purpose to bring loss or wounds into your life. And let us look at the scripture further. 
He says that you are the light to this world. And as you receive this light, as this light, as the scripture says, is lit up not to be hidden, but to be put on a display so that the whole house may be lit. That is a very specific responsibility that all of us are undertaking over our entire household. And we may, having this light, to testify in our lives to, in our own hands, Christa, having Jesus Christ in our, inside our, our own house, we may shine правдою, full of God's light силою, and truth настільки, and power ворог, so abundantly or in дому. such a strength you may shine that the enemy will flee важливо, your house. Дорогі. And it is so important, dear friends, in situations like this, в таких ситуациях ми дуже часто розслабляємося. We get relaxed. І ми кажемо, я є безсилий. We say I am weak. Але це не правда. powerless, but it's not true. Ти маєш силу. You have strength. Тому що маленьке, але яскраве світло. But very bright light. Воно здатне прогнати ворога. Аллилуйя. Glory to Jesus. Jesus. And look at what the scripture says. The scripture says that when you have faith, such a small faith, that as, as small as a mustard seed, have you seen a mustard seed in your life? It is extremely tiny. But when you have that tiny faith in Jesus Christ, you're able. You will be able. And say in your heart, I will be able. To, to say, tell any problem to tell this mountain step down and be cast into the emptiness in the void and it will we understand and our calling is not to move mountains we, we, we don't want to make Rainier disappear but there are mountains of problems in your life and my life there are mountains of hardships in my life, in your life. There are mountains of sickness. There are mountains in trials. And having faith in Jesus Christ. Even if it's little mustard seed. It is indefinitely very bright. With that bright light, you will be able to have a victory over the enemy. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. You will be able to be victorious. You will overcome any sickness and be protected. And that is because of one reason. Because Jesus says, we are one body. Jesus is the head. And we are the members of this body. And it says that when Jesus is for us, then Jesus who comes out against me, he sees Christ in me. And that's why the scripture says, stand. Stand firm. Stand firm against him. Not yourself. Not your own strength, not your authority. But strength, uh, stand in firm faith. And then he will flee from you. Glory to God. A few important things. That which James has started. Декілька дуже важливих речей. A few important uh, things he said. Віра, або, давайте так, да. Uh, це четвертий розділ, який ми, ми читали з вами. Uh, chapter 4 that we already read. Четвертий розділ, сьомий, восьмий, десятий вірш. Каже апостол, апостол uh, Яків, апостол наблизьтесь перше. Наблизьтесь до close Бога. To God. 
И Бог наблизиться до вас. The scripture says that the God will draw того, near to you or come close to you. These are one of the first steps того, in order for God's truth to enter your life and my life. We need to draw closer to God. And He will come closer to us. It is a process. When we are, when we are walking closer to each other, he draws near to me. And if it was only pastor walking, we would just remove distance between us. But when I draw near and he draws near, we will collide. This means, dear brothers and sisters, draw near to God and God will draw near to you. You will collide or unite into one whole and this is a process of your sanctification, my sanctification. We become one whole with God. It is a process of sanctification. Remember the prodigal son when he was walking home. What was he thinking? He said, I am not worthy to be called the son or to take this place in the father's house. But Yet maybe I'll be a servant. I'll be there. But the father that looked into, into the horizon and as he recognized his son, he ran towards the son. And when they collided, when they met, father takes the ring and gives it to him on his finger. The, the, the ring of being a son. And he said, take off this old rag and smelly clothes off of my son, he said to the servants. Give him new clean clothes. And he dresses him in fine clothes and prepares a celebration in the house because my son who was lost, he was found. Glory to Jesus. And so the scripture says, even if your sin will be red or dirty, says, I will make it white as snow. Glory. I will make it white. I will take off the dirty, the stain, the, the, the clothing of a slave. And I will give you clothing of the kingdom. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You know when I read these scriptures, Я розумію, що Бог поставив на то велику ціну за мою душу. I understand that God has paid such an enormous price for my soul. Коли я читаю таке слово, when I read these words, я розумію, що на то багато поставлено за мене. Much was paid for me. На то велика ціна. Way too big a price. Бог сам втрутився в моє God Himself intervened in my life. Glory to Jesus. Друге. Secondly, what Apostle James says, he submit to God or come under his authority. In another place we read, submit yourself under his mighty hand. This means, dear church, to stand under Authoritet. under the authority Božuho of slova. God's Alleluja. word. Hallelujah. It means Znaeš, to bow your head. To bow your head, to put it simply. And to stand under hands. Bachimo, so often we see in a TV as people they just fall before the priest. And no matter how low his hand 
свою голову ставлять під його руку. They, they try to put their, put their head under their hand so that he would bless them. Або поклав свою руку на них. put their hand on them. Послухай, наскільки є великий Бог. God is so mighty. Він дозволив нам сьогодні. And so great that he allowed us today. Щоб ми поклали свою голову. That we would be able to put our head under his hand. Під його руку his hand that is to stand under his authority that is to be under him that is to be in, in, in a line of his vision it is so important because those who are submitted to him the scripture says nobody is able to tear them those people out of my hand. Hallelujah. Slava Jesus. Jesus. It is important. Those who are his. He knows them by name. And nobody. Nobody is able to tear them. Those people. Out of my hand. Slava Bogu. Glory to God. Jesus was praying for these people. And he said this word, Lord. Those whom you gave to me, I kept or protected, and your word I gave unto them or passed it on. Those whom you gave to me, I kept or I protected, and your word I passed on to them. And may they be united as we are one. Слава Ісусу. Тому ті, хто пізнали Христа, вони пізнали і Бога Отця. Це є сила для нас. Це є сила для нас. Це є благодать для нас. Бути під Божим покровом. Його руки. І третє. Він каже, противтесь дияволу the devil and he will flee from you. Resist. You know, this says that we ought not to relax. We have the power to do something against him. Якщо ти подивишся на себе просто, ти побачиш безсилля. Ну, якщо ти подивишся на себе в світлі Божого Слова, ти знайдеш ті ресурси, які здатні перемогти ворога. Ми дякуємо Богу за перемогу Христа. Це застосування ворога. For, this is what is called using his resources utilizing his promises and his timely help which surely will fill you and protect you glory to Jesus and look faith in Jesus Christ Faith in Jesus Christ as a light in our hands says to us or tells us and everyone around us the following. First, the light talks about the righteousness of utilizing of his resources. Listen carefully. Апостол Яків каже, що ми маємо ці ресурси. Воно все дано нам від Бога. То, живучи вірою в Ісуса Христа, ми маємо спосібність застосувати оці Божі ресурси. Які це є Божі ресурси? Чим сьогодні ти і я можемо перемогти ворога? Що являється запорукою твоєї перемоги? І ось Біблія каже, і Біблія каже, страждання Ісуса Христа. Аллилуйя. Його пролита кров на голові. 
Його смерть. His death. І його воскресіння. And his resurrection. Це є цей ресурс. These are the resources. Які сьогодні ти можеш застосовувати. You may use. Перед всяким викликом. Before any challenge. Яке тільки може прийти в твоє життя. To your life. Якщо приходить хвороба, sickness comes. Якщо приходить хвороба в твоє sickness comes into your body, чи в твою, чи в твою сім'ю, or into your family, ти маєш ресурс. You have a resource. Просто візьми його цей Just ресурс. Just take that resource. І скажи ранами Ісуса. And say by the wounds of Jesus. Я є оздоровлений. I am healed. Засвіти йому в очі. Shine the enemy into their eyes. And they will see their and he will see his loss. When into your life, sin enters. Maybe you tripped up and you fell. And the enemy stands over you and he says, You are defeated. You have a resource to rise back up. To stand back on your feet. The blood of Jesus Christ. Son of the living God. Washes me clean. From every single sin. Hallelujah. Listen. When into your life. Коли приходить твоє життя розчарування в житті, коли ти не бачиш майбутнього, сьогодні люди вони не бачать майбутнього, падають в різного роду депресії, а з депресії вони покінчують життя самого. Ти маєш ресурс для того, щоб сказати, Христос помер і воскрес, і в воскресінні Христа я маю час, щоб воскреснути з ним. Послухай, все, що потрібно тобі сьогодні, просто розуміти і мати ці ресурси не десь в сенсі схованому, а покласти це в своє серце і користуватися ним. But God has given you the resources to use them. And when you use the resources, God will come and he will reveal his victory. First of all, I'm going to repeat, is to use the resources of God correctly that he's given into your life and mine. Secondly, what this light stand in your hand talks about. This light that you are watching. This light that is lit up right before you. And it points your way. It talks about assurance. Assurance in the fact that God is using Своє слово обітниці. Послухай. Коли я тримаю світильник перед собою, це означає, що це це є дуже важливо в моєму житті. Я вважаю цю річ вищою над усе. Коли це було так, я би просто це відклав. Звільнив свої руки від цього. Коли я тримаю його в своїх руках, в своєму житті, in my life, when I believe in Jesus Christ, it talks about the fact that I'm sure that God, He is performing His promises, the promises that He gave into my life and yours. He is unable to deny him himself. You know why not? I'll tell you. The word that is written can be erased. Some other uh, wise person can come and they can explain the word the way they want to. But the words that exit the mouth of God are the words that sets to life. It, it, it brings to life. It materializes. This word rima. This word that exits and does not return empty-handed. And we know Isaiah talked about this. As rain and sun that falls down from heaven, it does not return empty-handed until 
it does its job. And what's the job? It fills the earth with dew and water and it give, brings forth the fruit. So when I hold the lamp step in my hands, when I believe in Jesus Christ as my God, I give an uh, opportunity for God and I testify before everyone that His grace comes into my life and it waters my heart and His word is performed Пам'ятаєте, як Йов сказав, але I remember when I said, but я знаю, I know в кого я вірую. Я Hallelujah. знаю, I know що Він має силу that he has і владу відновити, to renew, зробити рестор мого тіла. Аллилуйя, слава Ісусу. І третє. Third, це наша внутрішня It is our internal conviction regarding this and assurance or belief in our God. It is a faithfulness of God to us and us to Him. He is faithful to me and therefore I remain faithful to Him. Як він вірний до мене, тримаючи в руках цей світильник, я зберігаю вірність йому. І ось тут притча, ми не будемо на нього зупинятися. П'ять мудрих, а нерозумних. П'ять мудрих, п'ять five wise virgins and five unwise. І ось ці п'ять дів, so які мали запалені світильники в руках, вони звістили всім, коли почули, що їхній жених іде. Воно стало свідоцтвом їхньої вірності до нього. Вони готові були вийти Йому to go out and meet Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. My dear friends, Ми з вами віримо в серйозного Бога. All of us believe in a very serious God. І ми з вами And we серйозні люди. Are serious people. Ми віримо в Бога, який in God who безпричинно не не пускає жодного слова. Does not speak any word without a reason. And we the people, we do not live without a purpose on this earth. We have grace of God today. In order for me to end before we pray, prophet Isaiah, verse 55, Verse 55. Verse, uh, chapter 55, verse 6. Listen to what he says to those who want to have God in their life. For those people who want to receive this bright light It is able to help you. It will bring you into your life a protection. And he says here, uh, Isaiah 55, 6, Seek the Lord while you can find Him. Call on Him while, you're, while He is near. So important. Or so important. Пророк, наповнений від Духа Божого. Це є правдиве пророцтво. Правдиве пророцтво. Воно завжди показує твій стан і показує вихід. Правдиве пророцтво ніколи не заводить тебе в тупік. And a true prophecy never leads you to a dead end. That's why prophet Isaiah says, Seek the Lord. 
на стан людства. Вони потребують Бога. Like. І він каже, поки можна знайти, його можна знайти. Він не ховається He від нас. Він не від нас. Кличте його, Call. бо він Call on him. близько. While he's near or because he's near. Він є рядом. He is near. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Останнє місце писання і ми молимося. One last verse and we pray. Лука 18 розділ. Luke chapter 18. Сьомий вірш. Luke 18 verse 7. Чи Бог в оборону не візьме вибраних своїх, які голосять до нього день і ніч. Кажу вам, що Він подасть їм поміч. Аллилуйя, Слава Ісусу! Незабаром Він подасть їм допомогу. He will give these people help, as we see on the screen. Послухайте, тепер дуже уважно. Listen here very carefully now. Ми живемо з вами. We live в останній час. During the last times. Я хочу, щоб ви дуже уважно послухали зараз. I want all of you to listen very carefully. Сьогодні today є багато there are a lot of people які просто спекулюють. That just speculate. От на 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 темі останнього часу based on uh, the subject of Сьогодні last багато times. проповідників. There are a lot of preachers. Яких ви можете знайти в YouTube. And you can find them on YouTube. Які вже попідраховували. That already counted up. На який день і на який рік прийде Христос за церкву. What day and year Jesus Christ is coming for church? Послухайте. Listen. Слово Боже каже. The scripture says. Ніхто цього дня не знає. Nobody knows the day. На який день чи годину. What day or the hour? Але but будьте be ready to meet him every hour and every minute. We do not know will it be tomorrow or maybe before we even make it home today. We don't know. Я знаю точно, but I know for sure that Holy Spirit today speaks to us, speaks to the church, so be ready, so that we would be ready, so that when the trumpet of the Lord sounds, and it will, that you, as you hold in your hands, these light stands light stands and we will be found in faith of Jesus Christ and we will be found